Good day everyone! Today, we will study about the MELT 37 which is Constructing Segments and Angle Bisectors, Perpendicular and Parallel Lines. I am your teacher, Ma'am Julian H. Kutasata, and together, let's discover the wonderful world of mathematics. Our terminal objective is uses compass and straight edge to bisect line segments and angles and construct perpendicular and parallel lines. Particularly, we will determine the materials and steps needed in basic construction. We will construct a segment and angle bisector, parallel and perpendicular lines. And finally, you will appreciate the importance of learning how to construct these things. These are the needed materials. First, we need a straight edge or ruler, two compass, three pen or pencil, and four a piece of paper for us to draw these things. Let's familiarize ourselves first with these vocabulary words. First is the bisector, that means it divides a segment or angle into two equal parts. Parallel means a line or lines and segments that do not meet. Perpendicular means lines or segments that meet at 90 degrees. And segment refers to part of a line that has two endpoints. Let's now construct segment bisector, angle bisector, perpendicular lines, and parallel lines. To construct a segment by sector, first, we are given here a line segment AB with points A and B as the endpoints. Now, using the compass with A as the center, let's make a radius that is greater than half of AB. And now, let's create an arc above and below the line segment AB. Using the same radius, with B this time as the center, let's create an arc above and below the line segment AB also. Now, we have created two intersecting arcs and they meet at this point. The point of intersection is here and another one here. Let's name this as point C and this one as point D. Now, let's connect these two points using our straight edge or ruler. We have created now a line segment CD. So, you see that CD bisects the line segment AB at this point. And let's name this time this point as point M. Now, we have created two segments here. Line segment AM and line segment MD. Now, let's measure the distance of point A to point M. So this big is point A to point M. How about this one? Yeah. This one is the distance from M to B. And you see that the distance from point A to point M or the segment uh, AM is the same as the distance from point M to point B or the segment MB. So therefore, we say that um, line segment AM is congruent with line segment MB, where M is the midpoint. And therefore, we can say that line segment CD bisects the line segment AB. So therefore, Line segment CD is the segment bisector. To construct an angle bisector, first, we need to draw an angle. Let's make this clear, the vertex. Any kind of angle will do, but this time, let's draw an acute angle. Let's name this as angle A, B, C with B as the vertex. Now, using a compass, let's draw an arc with B as the center 
an arc that will intersect the two sides. And now, the point of intersection is here and here in this. Let's name this as point D and this one as point E. Now, using our compass again with point D as the center with a radius greater than the DE, let's draw an arc here inside, somewhere inside here, our angle. Now, this time using E as our center, draw another arc here. So, you see we have created two intersecting arcs with this point of intersection and let's name this as point F. Okay, as you've noticed earlier that point D to F is equidistant with point D E, I mean E F. So E F and D F are of the same distance. So now connecting this point, the vertex and this point we will be able to create new two new angles the angle a b f and angle f b c and we can say that angle a b f we know that the measure of this angle is the same with the measure of angle f b c so we can say that angle a b f is congruent with angle F, B, C. Therefore, we can say that the segment BF bisects the angle A, B, C. So our angle bisector here is the segment BF. To construct perpendicular lines, we will be using two cases here. One is with the line AB and with point P on the given line. Another one is line MN with point T not on the given line. So first, with this case, we have to create an arc with P as the midpoint or the center. Create an arc here intersecting our line. So let's name this point as point C and this point as D. Now using the point C as our center, let's create an arc. Let's make the radius bigger an arc above it. And with point B as the center, using the same radius, create an arc above it. And then there is a point of intersection here. Let's name it as point E. And then let's connect points E and P making it as line EP. Now you see that we have formed here a square corner. These are square corners. Therefore, we have created perpendicular lines. And these lines are line EP and line AB. So since we have created square corners, we can say that they are perpendicular lines. Another one, let's go now here with point T not on the line using our compass here and T as the center. Let's create an arc intersecting our line left and right. So let's name this point as point X, this one as point Y. Now using point X as the center again, let's create an arc above bigger arc above and another arc with point Y as our center another arc crossing the first arc they cross at this point so let's name this as point K and now let's connect the two points here point K and point T let's make this a line KT and now, let's take a look at the corners. We have created um, square corners. Therefore, 
it's a proof that line KT and line MN are 90 measures created 90 degrees. Therefore, we can say that line KT is perpendicular with line MN. To construct parallel lines, we will be using this line AB with point P not on the line. So we are going to use now our compass with point A as the center. We will create an arc that will cross the point P. Okay, there you go. And using the same radius with point B this time as the center, let's create an arc over here. With B as our center, still, let's make this radius bigger so that it will reach point P and let's create an arc crossing that point. Now with the same radius, use A as the center and create an arc over here crossing the arc earlier that we have created and let's determine this point of intersection as point Q. And now let's draw a line passing, passing through these two points. Let's see. Let's connect them. Making a line PQ. So, you see that the distance from point A to point B is the same with the distance from point B to point Q, meaning to say that when we draw this line passing through the points P and Q, we know that line PQ will not ever meet the line AB. Therefore, we can say that line PQ is parallel with the line AB. Now that we are done with the construction, maybe you might be thinking what for do we study this? Why do we study this? And how are we going to apply all of these learnings? With all of the things that you have learned, you could be the future engineer, architect, or designer of anything that you want to create. You could build houses or mansions like this. With your knowledge in drawing or constructing different lines and angles and shapes, you could build churches, with this kind of designs. You could also design or create bridges like this. And who knows, maybe with all the things that you have learned in mathematics, you could be able to build and create buildings and infrastructures just as beautiful as this. You really are the future engineers architects and designers of our world and to make it happen you have to aim high believe and don't give up with that i hope you learned a lot maraming salamat and keep safe everyone